okay we are going to develop and test changes locally now I'm going to follow along the instructions here but you can't follow along because the trailhead playground doesn't allow you to create change sets so I'm going to show you how we can create a new object on a sandbox and then create a change set for it and then we can deploy it to another sandbox let's do this together so first we want to create the custom object and it would be name language course and language courses is the plural and then we are going to create a new tab for it and then we are going to save that okay the second one we are going to create language course designer object designers the same thing and then we are going to create some fields and then test the custom objects locally you can do that and then, then we can create an outbound chain set we are going to authorize them first and upload the chain set and we are done all right to do that i'm going to launch my organization's um, salesforce instance so this is not a trailhead instance so you won't be able to follow me along but at least you can see how this is actually done all right so back to my salesforce instance our developer um, sandbox has been completed so now i can log in here now we are logged into a developer sandbox and we are going to start creating these two object language course and then language course designer with a custom tab wizard all right so this is the sandbox i am going to like regular create an object here go to my object manager and then create a couple of new object actually i'm going to skip this process so the video will not take too long all right i'm going to create the uh, the two objects and its custom fields and then we can start adding the chain set to the outbound chain set all right all right so as you can see um, on the developer sandbox i have created two new objects language course and language course designer and i have one custom field on the language course here as you can see is a master detail relationship to the language course designer as requested on the trail here right so those two objects are created with one extra custom field master detail now we are going to create the outbound change set so outbound means it's going out from this sandbox it's going out into another sandbox that's why it's called outbound it's going out okay so now back to the home of the setup i can create a new outbound outbound chain set here outbound chain set and i'm going to create a new one a new chain set and then we are going to include those um, two objects and the custom field so let's name this what do we want to name this enter a name so it doesn't matter um, let's name this language training all right i'm going to name the chain set language training and hit save now here you add what goes into the chain set so let's follow along so next you select the components you want to add all right so i'm going to add the custom object and then i'm going to add language course designer and language class 
or course actually this is a typo so I'm gonna add components here and I'm going to change this so this is the type of component you can add onto a chain set basically pretty much everything but not everything as you can see on the previous trail but you can add quite a lot of stuff right so for this particular example we are going to add a custom object all right we want to add both custom object and then you can sort um, l here and then we have language course and language course designer okay so hit add to change set now the objects are added but we want to also add the tabs and the custom field so you can add that manually by doing this again and then choose custom field you have custom fields here right and then you can also choose tabs over here on T tab but that's taking a lot more steps than needed so I'm just gonna hit, hit view slash add dependencies what's dependencies from these two objects I'm gonna hit that see now I, I am bringing on the list view the custom field and the page layout as well so I can just choose everything there and add to change set that would be faster right rather than adding it one at a time so we got that and then let's see what the trailhead wants us to add more so we've um, add the the dependencies as well select the dependent components and then add to chain set and basically it so this is also important you can add stuff at new changes and change components but you can't use chain set to delete or rename components make sure you remember that but as you go along and you've done a lot of chain sets you would know this so you can always only add stuff when deploying you cannot even rename stuff or even delete okay to do that you have to do do it manually on the target org also permission sets this would uh, this would also need to be added so if I add these two objects and I deploy it to the sandbox the users of those target sandbox can't see these new objects and fields they can't see it but now if I add the profiles and I add pretty much everybody there then the users on the target sandbox will be able to see these new objects so this is not ma actually migrating the profiles in entirely it's just pertaining to the objects or fields on the chain set okay so don't think that you are moving entire profiles onto the new or, or the target uh, sandbox or production or it's just what's pertaining to be inside the ch this chain set I hope that makes sense so once you've done that you can you can save it but you can't upload it yet all right why because where are you going to upload now nothing is associated with this chain set first we have to do authorization from the target sandbox which is described here and we are going to do that okay so next authorize a deployment connections to do that on the target sandbox which is this one my target sandbox is this one I'm going to open okay so this is the full sandbox which we are going to deploy the chain set to now I can search deployment settings here deployment settings I just have to authorize that new sandbox that new developer sandbox 
dev test here now it's the connection is broken right it's not allowed so i'm going to change or edit this and allow this sandbox to come in allow inbound chain set save so it's going to allow this dev test sandbox to deploy stuff into this full sandbox All right now you can see it's authorized and it's now green it's allowing inbound chain set from the dev test sandbox to come into this uh, full sandbox now if i go back to my developer sandbox over here and i refresh this page now we would be able to upload it see it's now listed here i can upload this chain set onto this org so we are going to do the upload let's see if that's actually on the upload the chain set yeah we are going to actually do the upload here and your upload is currently in progress we will send you an email when it's complete it can take a few seconds um, or it can also take a few minutes depending on um, how salesforce implements the chain set upload all right so if i go back to my target sandbox which is the kcm full sandbox here i'm going to find if my inbound chain set has come or not not yet so yeah it does takes a few minutes to come all right okay so the change set has come into our full sandbox now you can validate or deploy what is the difference you can validate it first um, especially if you have apex classes or triggers any kind of coding you can quick validate first if it's all valid then you can deploy it but since this is just a custom field and a custom object some page layouts list views is all point and click uh, metadata so i'm just going to hit deploy here all right so let me make sure are we going to deploy it on this particular trailhead um actually not <laughs> so we are going to deploy it on the next one okay so the next section we are going to deploy it basically we're just gonna hit that deploy button there all right so let's do the quiz so when is it necessary to clone a chain set so you can clone a chain set so if i go back here um, and I go back to outbound chain set. This is the developer um, sandbox, right? See, you have a clone button here. So if you clone it, you basically clone whatever is in here and then add more components or remove components on the new um, the chain set. So what's uh, that's what's what's what we can do so what when is it necessary to do that to use a new deployment connection authorized after a chain set has already been uploaded no to modify its contents after it has been uploaded to a target org that's right to upload it to a different org you don't need that to delete component no just be this is tricky eh? a bit tricky which step must calvin perform to transfer a chain set from one sandbox to another sandbox so which step authorize the connection in the sandbox accepting the chain set unlock no refresh no verify yeah so this one authorize a connection in the sandbox accepting the chain set first you have to authorize first right so that's it so next is just deployment i would think i will see you on the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds 
and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.